Hello everybody, welcome to the channel. Today let's take a look at FSR 3.0 Frame Generation Mod by Luke FC and we're playing Uncharted Legacy of Thieves Collection on Steam Deck Steam OS. So if you're wondering, this is a paid mod. It's currently paid. You need to join the creator's Patreon page in order to download this mod. I'll leave a link in the description. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to play the game without the mod. And then I'll turn on the mod so you can see if there's any performance gains. And then finally, I'll take you to my Steam Deck desktop mode to show you how to install this mod. Okay, so let's take a look at my settings first. So in-game settings, display, display mode currently on borderless windowed, display resolution 1280 by 720. Okay, and then I've got AMD FSR 2 on quality. And advanced graphics, I've set the preset to high. Okay, and for my Steam Deck, it's on the latest stable release of um, Steam OS. Currently, the version is 3.5.7 as of recording. And I've got Cry Utilities on, recommended settings, and I've set my VRAM size to 4 gigabytes. Okay, and then on my performance tab, I've just um, enabled this, disable frame limit. Everything else is disabled. And for power tools, I've got SMT enabled, eight threads, and governor set to performance. Everything else is disabled. Okay, so that's my settings. Okay, so let's play a bit of this before. Okay, so jump. So you see I'm getting like 40 frames right now with FSR 2 on. Play a little bit more. So yeah, 30 ish 40 frames. Not too bad. That was easy. For a handheld, right? We're playing on the Steam Deck. Not too bad. Can I skip the cinematics? No, cannot. You didn't promise. Okay. I, I did. So if you like these types done. of videos, please leave a like. It really helps out the I'm channel. The and let me know in the comments what other games you want me to test out with oh. FSR 3.0 frame Watch generation mod. This. Whoa. And now we take the high road. Hey. Have you done this before? Uh, once or twice. Here, come on. Your turn. I've never played this game, actually. I played the one on um, PS Vita in Golden Abyss or something like that. Because there weren't many games on the Vita. <laughs> so that was a game that I remember that I played early on. So, yeah, obviously, I'm not going to go through the whole game and show you every single location. Uh, that's not the scope of this video. The scope is just to show you, you know, roughly what it's like with and without. And finally, like, let, I'll show you how to install it. Because some people are leaving messages saying that they don't know how to get this to work for this game. Like it crashes or something like that. See? No big deal. Okay, so yeah, I think you know what you're getting into without the mod. Like with these settings, you get 30-ish 40. So now let me turn off the game and let me toggle on the mod. So I've done all the like the mod files. I've already done all that. So I'm just going to toggle on the mod with the launch option. Okay, I'll show you how to do the mod files later on steam uh steam Deck desktop mode so now you can see i've got the mod window opened so the mod is hooking up which is good if i press the steam button you can see i've got two windows this is the mod window hooking up the game so yeah it's working
Okay. Sorry. Okay, let's load back into the area we were before. Okay, you can see like the artifacting. UI flickering. Yeah, that's that happens when the mod is on. It needs to be fixed. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Give me a So you can see we do get extra frames. Like the FPS is now 50ish 60. Compared to the 30ish 40 we had before. And I don't really feel any input lag. Uh, I don't think there's any ghosting. Like maybe a some little bit of artifacting. No. Okay. Yeah, it's just the UI flickering. I think that's the main issue right now for this game. So do I have the? Um, let me see if I have the. Yeah, I think you should turn off the subtitles. So if I have the subtitles, I think we'll get a lot of flickering. Yeah. See that? With the subtitles. So if you're going to use this mod, I suggest turning off the subtitles. Yeah. Yeah, let me turn off the subtitles. Let's go to options, accessibility, and their subtitles off. You didn't prop it. I, I, I did. I so let's hope that the UI flickering gets fixed soon. No, it doesn't matter. We're gonna take the high if you're interested in this game, maybe go on to Luke FC's Discord and let him know. I think he knows about it. <laughs> it's just, does he have time to fix it? He's got so much on his plate right now. Have you done this before? So yeah. So other than the UI flickering, it's pretty good. So, what you been up to? Working mostly. Okay, so yeah, I think you can see the performance gain here. So let me take you back to my Steam Deck desktop mode and I'll show you how to install this. See you back in desktop mode. Okay, so before we go any further, I'd like to introduce you to my secondary channel. It's called Growing Up Cooking. Other than gaming, cooking is also a passion of mine. So I'd like to share some of my cooking dishes, recipes on that channel. If you like gaming, you like eating and you want to support me, please go over there and subscribe to that channel. I'll give you some sneak preview right now. Are you ready? Oh my god! Oh my god! Alright. Oh god, just put the sauce in. Ooh! Mm. So did you enjoy that? Watch the full video at Growing Up Cooking, links in the description. Welcome back to my Steam Deck's desktop mode. The first thing you need to do is locate your game folder. I have mine right here. It's in Home Games Uncharted Legacy of Thieves Collection. So this is where my exe is, u4.exe, you can see. This is where I'm going to put my mod files. So here's my mods. I put them in um, downloads folder, Luke FC mods. FSR 2, FSR 3. So the latest mod version as of recording is version 0 0.10.2. Okay, and I'm going to use the 2.10 version, all right, because um, the game uses FSR 2.1. That's why we're using 2.10. Okay, so 2.10.zip. I'm going to extract it right here to the game folder. Okay, and then common.zip. Also extract, I'm just going to extract winmm.dll and winmm.ini. So we don't need to use the optional files for this game. 
Okay, and that's basically it. Go back to your Steam and make sure you have the launch options right here. Wine DLL overrides equals WinMM equals native built in. Right, I'll leave this in the description so you don't have to type it out. You can just copy and paste it. And that's it. That's it. Just load the game. And you select FSR in game as your upscaler. And that just works. So you can see the mod menu just popped up. It's hooking up with the game. It's good. Okay, let's just double check it's working. Naughty dog. Okay, A, and then go to options. So in order to um, enable the mod, make sure AMD FSR2, is, you just select this on. I'm just going to leave it in quality. Okay, and then story. Let's just continue. And we should see the flickering. Yeah, that's the artifact thing. So yeah, the mod's working. All right, so I'll leave it here. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.